Well, we really would like to know if this is an equipment grounding conductor, right? We want to know that that's the equipment grounding conductor because that's part of the effective ground fault current path that we got to connect to the box. So we've established, the code has established, okay, we can use green to identify that as the equipment grounding conductor. It could be bare, can be used as an equipment grounding conductor. And in some cases, if you want to, you can use green with a yellow stripe. So if you go in a box and you see green, well, that's the equipment grounding conductor. If it's bare, that's the equipment grounding conductor. And if you look at, look at the circuit conductors, the code tells us beyond the scope of this class, it says that your phase wires are going to have to have a color that's not white or gray and not green. So the black and the red would be what? The hot wires. The white wire, <coughs> 200.6, is going to be the neutral. Your green or your bare or your green with the yellow stripe is going to be your equipment grounding conductor. So we, we have to work together with an identification as much as we can. Now, the color green, Jacob, and, and, and that, uh, this is a grounding electroconductor. Remember, we had transformers. We had to go into the transformer, and we had to ground that system and that equipment, and then it goes over to the steel column. Now, the grounding electroconductor does not have a color that it has to be. It could just be whatever you want it to be. Well, it can't be white. Okay, that's the one thing, because white has to be used for the grounding conductor. It can be black, but the code on 251.18 says that you are limited to its usage, but you could use it for a grounding electroconductor. You can put green, and guys will do that, you know. Not that it's not obvious, but it's kind of obvious there, but still. Well, that's what I was just going to say. I mean, you get these silly situations where people say, you know, we really need to have that conductor labeled. Okay, so <laughs> what else could it possibly be? Right, exactly. I, I'm guessing someone didn't connect a phase conductor to that structural metal, so people get caught up in labels and things, and we got to know what it is. What else? This is a process of elimination here. This is pretty obvious what this is. So the inspector's there. He says, well, how do we know what that is out there? You got to label that wire. And you're like, like he said, it's going to the steel column. It's coming out of a transformer. It's a grounding electroconductor. But when some inspector might want you to label it, and it's whatever. It's not a, not a code violation.